Strippers of Reddit. What are some things you want people to know when going to a strip club? Don't take photos. Not even on Snapchat. Had a friend whip out his camera phone during a bachelor party. Bouncers kicked out the whole party of 25. He wasn't popular that night. Don't fall in love with the girls. My friend went nuts over a very nice stripper and spent much of a small inheritance buying dances and drinks. Kept asking her out and she kept noping on it with the usual we can't date the customers line. He kept asking nicely. One night she must have felt sorry for him because she took him in the VIP room and sat him down, standing in front of him with nothing on but a pair of FMPs. She told him, look at me. I look good enough to make a very nice living just taking my clothes off. Do you honestly think for one second that I don't have a boyfriend? He was crushed. Had a close call in Ankara, Turkey a few years back. I went to a burlesque show. The girls were mostly naked, but it was a different scene. More like a stage with six girls with tassels on their tits who would then mingle with the men sitting down for dinner. One of the girls noticed that I was American and she had a very concerned look on her face and she pulled me aside to warn me that this place isn't like the strip clubs in America. Here you are charged by the minute. And she told me about Americans who would unknowingly rack up massive bills that they could not pay, leading them to get beat up severely or worse by the bouncers. I got up and left, and in fact, I was on a timer and it took them five minutes to tally up my bill, which came to more than $100 just for about 25 minutes in the club drinking one beer. Make sure you clarify you want one dance. This way they will ask you if you actually want another or just dance until Visa gets a boner. This happened to me, first time at a club on my birthday. Friends wanted to get me a double dance in the VIP room and I didn't know about this. Three songs later, my friends didn't want to cover it, leaving me high and dry. Was fantastic up until that point though. I used to work at a strip club, not a dancer, and the girls would cut the strings off their tampons so it wasn't visible to the outside world. Sometimes they get lost up there and they look to one of the only sober women present to fish it out. It was always great fun. Also, the girls had code words. If a guy offered to buy them a drink, if the girl ordered a vodka and lemonade, it meant they wanted water and would rather have the money from the drink given to them. At $9 each drink, the girls made a nice little sum on the side. We had envelopes for all of the girls where the money would go into. The guy thought he was buying her a drink at $9, and that's what he paid. Only he was paying it directly to her via us at the bar, and she was having a lemonade or a water. I know a girl who's a dancer. Her advice? Don't sit up front on perv row if you're not giving the girls on stage money. I have a question for the strippers of Reddit as well. If there is a strip club that has a particularly good deal on a steak and shrimp combo, is it rude of me to go only for the food? Nah, not really. Best to do so during daytime. If a girl walks up to you, simply and respectfully state that you aren't interested in any dances. But if they want to stay and chat, that is cool too. Lots of these clubs are notable for being decent steakhouses, so it's not like you aren't bringing them business anyway. So no need to feel bad. But if you are done eating and straight up watching the stage while also telling women you have no money or don't want to dance, may make some upset as seeing you are more loitering for the show and not participating. I have a few stripper acquaintances, friends, and they tell me they sometimes rub hand sanitizer all over themselves after a particularly gross customer. General rules are pretty much as follows. Stay off the stage, don't touch their money, ask before you touch a dancer, if a bouncer tells you to do something, comply. There are lots of other rules that may or may not apply, but they will vary by establishment. If you follow those golden rules, you should be okay though. Do not fold your dollar bill and flick it like a field goal between their legs. Got kicked out quickly for that. When the strippers roll their poster into a funnel and direct it towards their pussies, you are supposed to throw coins in there. A toonie is the recommended coin. Do not use a lighter to heat the coin up. A lot of people don't know we gotta pay to work every damn night. I don't know why men do this, but please don't lick me. I'm just trying to do my job, and my job does not entail being licked. I'm also gross and sweaty, and I'm not prepared to have my butt cheek, face cheek, my belly button, etc. licked. Normally I love my job, it could be a lot of fun, but please, please just treat me like a human being. Also, this has only happened once, but please don't try to insert your money into my asshole. It's super rude. I'm the director of communications for the world's largest gentleman's club, Sapphire in Las Vegas. I've thought about doing an AMA, here's some good things to note about Vegas clubs. Most clubs offer free admission and a free limo party bus ride to their place if you call them directly. If you take a cab, Uber, hotel, limo, or outside transportation, you will always pay cover. All strip clubs in town give outside transportation a kickback for bringing customers to the club so they can't waive your cover because they're already paying the cabs etc for bringing you. All entertainers, for example, strippers, pay a house fee to work at the club. It ranges from 50 to 150 a night depending on when they arrive. If they don't make that money on shift, they are still responsible for paying that money to the club. 
Floor dances are not the same price as VIP dances, and entertainers are independent contractors. They do not have to dance for anyone if they don't want to. The club cannot force anyone to dance for money or for free. Hence, the club cannot offer free dances. Nothing is more frustrating for the dancers than the guy standing at the bar sitting at a table who is more than happy to watch but does not want to spend money. Even if you are not getting dances, if you are spending time at the club watching, every once in a while throw a little money on the stage to show your appreciation. At the same turn, if you spend time talking to a dancer, it's not uncommon to tip her for her time. It could be by buying her a drink or with a little cash. It lets her know that although you are not getting a dance, you appreciated the time and company she spent with her. Lap dances do not equal your time to try out all the things you've seen in porn movies, unless given express permission by the dancer. Do not lick, bite, kiss, slap, pinch, grab, manhandle, pull hair, twist nipples, try to finger either in the pink or the stink, push, pull thongs off, pull thongs to the side to look at her pussy while on stage, try to put money inside her crotch, put your face in her crotch. Touching and behavior with customers is determined on a case-by-case -case basis by the dancer. It can vary by customer, and that dancer's comfortability with a particular customer. Telling a dancer, well so and so lets me, or in Canada, Brazil, New York were allowed to, does not matter. At the end of the day, you are paying for a dance, not the right to assault, humiliate, or make someone feel uncomfortable. Don't do it. Other behaviors. Although it may seem funny, don't steal or hide a dancer's clothes, shoes, purse, phone. Don't fold up your money into airplanes or darts and throw it at the entertainer on stage. Don't take photos or videos, even of yourself. It makes everyone feel uncomfortable and will get you kicked out. Stereotypes are not real. Not all dancers are single moms and drug addicts with daddy issues. Many are entrepreneurs, business owners, actresses, graduate PhD holders, highly successful and smart women, and many are making a great living at their second or even primary job. There is no sex in the VIP room. Most people coming to Vegas have the party mindset and are looking to get laid. But coming to the strip club and propositioning every dancer to come back to your hotel room for $300 is not only illegal, it's almost insulting. These dancers pay incredible house fees to work every night. $300 is not even close enough to make it worth their while to chance leaving the club. Getting arrested for prostitution, getting fired from the club, losing their ability to work at any other club or resort property in Nevada. Not to mention the safety risk of meeting a stranger at a hotel room who may or may not have a group of his buddies ready to rape and kill her. P.S. Prostitution is illegal in Clark County where Las Vegas is. Not all dancers are criminals and thieves. In Nevada, every strip club and resort employee has to get a sheriff's card, which means they have to get a federal background check and if they are not a citizen, have any felonies or a criminal record, they cannot work at our club. Clubs do not steal and rack up unknown credit card charges. Our club has a policy of specifically explaining every single transaction that is run on a customer's card. Every swipe is explained to the customer, written down and double-checked by a manager before it is signed and a receipt is given. Plus, if there is no ID, there is no party. Vegas is a high-fraud city, so our club takes no chances in opening the door for a chargeback. If there is any indication the customer is too intoxicated or not the person on the ID, it's no dice. Ladies, when visiting strip clubs, be a willing participant. Have fun and be nice to the dancers. They will be nice to you. On the flip side, guys, if you are with your lady and want to have a fun couple's experience, let the dancer work to help your lady be comfortable if it's her first time. Do not screw the pooch by rushing the experience. I know it's exciting, but I've seen many of these situations go from good to nuclear level bad in minutes because jealousy, insecurity, and uncomfortability kicked in. Also ladies, although it may seem fun and sexy, do not give your man a lap dance at the club. You are there to enjoy the entertainers, not be part of the show. It's not uncommon for security to stop an intoxicated female from dancing, and she says, but I'm hotter and dance better than all the girls here. That may be the case, but it's rude. You don't go to a restaurant, go into the kitchen, and start cooking your own food. It's the same thing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and strippers, write in the comments what every visitor should know before going into a strip club.